Hey everybody, want to wheeze them here. We're going to go real quick. These are some villain descriptions for Trap Team. I want to stress a lot of this stuff came out with uh, the San Diego Comic Con stuff. I've got gameplay coming. I'm just insanely busy and it will have to come uh, later this weekend. First up, Broccoli Guy. A lively stock of broccoli who proves that not all vegetables are good for you. Saw him quite a bit at E3. He's got a little bit more gameplay I saw tonight when I previewed everything. I kind of like the guy. Uh, next up is Buzzerbeak. He is an air element villain. We know that now. Uh, granted, most of us guessed that. A mischievous bird with a propeller hat whose chop is worse than his chirp. Uh, we've seen him in quite a bit of screenshots and gameplay. We're going to see some more of him. Uh, Chill Bill, he was way back in the initial uh, launch, if you will, in uh, New York. Water Element, a really cool troll that uses his frosty jetpack and freeze ray to ice down his enemies. Nice to see the trolls get some love here. Uh, right here is the Chompy Mage. They didn't send a description with him. At this point in time, you should know him very well. Uh, grenade, Fire Element, interestingly, he's not tech. He could go either way. A walking bomb with an explosive smile. Uh, to me, grenade uh, would have been the better choice of words, but cool nonetheless. I'm interested to see more from him. This is a brand new villain we hadn't seen, Gulper. Uh, he's a water element, a gluttonous blob monster with a limitless appetite for food and soda and evil. Pay attention to soda. I've got some screenshots I'll show you later tonight or tomorrow of a new level. Uh, next up, Pinata. This is a guy everyone seems to like. He's magic element, an oversized pinata who can barf an endless supply of candy that sweetens any battle. So far, not necessarily one of my favorites, but everyone else seems to like the guy. Um, Riot Shield Shredder. I guess he's the E3 guy. Uh, Life, a wood-carved villain with a sharp metal shield that can shred anything in his path. And in a couple of months, we can finally play as this guy since he's pre-trapped for us. Another new one, just like Gulper, it is Sheep Creep. You're probably sitting there thinking, I'm pranking you. Kid you not, this is a villain. Life element. Beneath the fluffy exterior lays a bad villain along with a pair of cork shooters. Uh, there is some gameplay of this guy. It is pretty amazing using and looks are very deceiving in this case. Uh, next up we have Shrednot again. He goes back to the New York reveal if you will or LA. Can't remember where they did that. A massive lumberjack tank piloted by two trolls delivering 360 degrees of chomping power. Very similar to some SSA stuff actually. And last but not least my personal favorite. Someone I think should be a Skylander at some point in the future. Wolfgang. Uh, he is undead a rock and roll werewolf who shreds on his harp guitar to rip through any enemy jam session. Again, just real quick, ran you through this stuff. Uh, gives you a little bit of a background, kind of a summation elements, a uh, brief description, if you will, of these villains. And uh, like I said, I have got a crud ton of B-roll footage for you. So basically what that means is it's a whole compilation of like some official release gameplay type things. And uh, I just basically need to section it up, uh, either by character or villain or theme or whatever I decide to do. Uh, put a little bit more information with it, talk you through things on that, and uh, then release that. Sadly, it is 4 in the morning, and I have to be, like, not up but ready to go somewhere at 8. <laughs> and um, that's how I roll uh, life on the edge. But um, I should be able to get some of that B-roll stuff cranked out. But again, to me, this stuff right here, the factual information, the background stuff, this is really what drives me. It's what I enjoy. The gameplay is awesome. Uh, I like to experience that firsthand on a personal basis. Uh, it's cool to see a little bit of it, but what I really enjoy prior to a game's launch is this type of stuff. Backgrounds on the characters, get a feel for who they are, see some artwork, what they look like, things of that nature. So, uh, Pretty much everyone you saw here, in particularly the new guys, Sheep Creep and Gulper, uh, should have bit of gameplay there. Same thing for the Skylanders. I'll try to get their character description video up tonight. Nothing fancy here, but kind of a teaser of the gameplay that's coming. And some of you, if you are like me, you will actually enjoy this type of just informational video, maybe a little bit more so than the gameplay. Uh, we're probably in the minority there. Most of you prefer gameplay. It's coming. It just takes longer to render. But uh, again, to me, this is the stuff that drives me. I kind of enjoy this background type stuff on everything. So uh, stay tuned a ton of Skylanders Trap Team stuff is on its way. Uh, we'll do some pretty cool stuff with it. As always, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+. If you like what I'm doing, hit that button. You can also make sure that
that you are subscribed. Again, like I always tell you, I never know when they're going to spring some news or bombshells on us, like Eon's Elite or the Dark Edition, uh, things of that nature. And uh, as a subscriber, you will be amongst the first to know. So once again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you back here for some more Skylanders Trap Team news.